Hi, this is Robin Heppel, and welcome to the Funeral Futurist website's Funeral Home Website Training Series. And in this class, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at editing photos with the GIMP Photo Editor. Uh, you may have seen some of our nice borders that we put around some of the obituaries, and you wonder, well, how is that done? And, and usually we do it with Photoshop, and we use layers, but... Um, GIMP, which is kind of a weird name, but uh, it's a free video or free photo editing software that you can just download. Just type in GIMP uh, photo editor and or image editor and you can uh, just download it and start using it. So we will take a look at how that works. And basically it just takes about six steps. So what you want to do is open the photo of the deceased for the obituary in uh, in the GIMP editor. And then what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to scale the image to at least 150 wide by 200 and high. Uh, those are pixels, and that's the default size that we have for our obituary pictures. And then what we're going to do is, because there'll be a little bit of overhang on either the width or the height, and then we're going to adjust the canvas to exactly 150 by 200. Then just to crop it to that exact section, we just select all and then crop to the selection. And at that point, you could just save the image if you wanted to and, and have that ready to upload. Um, or if you wanted to add a border, you just use the add as a layer. And actually that, that border, um, it has a transparent middle and it will actually go above the photo and then it will kind of frame the person's face or, or the photograph. And once that's done, then you just go to uh, save the photo as a JPEG and that's it. Then you're ready to upload that to the obituary as we've talked about in a previous tutorial. So to go to um, GIMP, we will go in there now and there's this kind of weird looking cat there or or mouse. Anyway, if we're following the instructions, we will go to opening the image. And we're going to pick the we're going to pick the image here. And you can see this is a pretty big image. We have it at uh, all, just over 700 wide by 908, almost 900 tall. So the first thing that we're going to do is scale the image. So we go under the image uh, menu item here, go to scale image. And so we want this at least 150 by at least 200. So let's just see here. 150 by, oh, 186. So that's not enough. So we will go the opposite way, 200 high. And I'm just pressing tab, and then that resets that to 162. So that's uh, within the 150 by 200, because we keep this lock on there so it constrains the the image and then we just press scale and and that's okay but now you kind of have to um, gonna get a little fancy here I don't really like um, this picture isn't the greatest picture it's a little off-centered so we're just gonna reverse that a little bit go back to scale image and you know what I'm gonna make that just 225 because in the next process we can make sure that everything's okay and sometimes this is just trial and error so now we have 182 by 225 and we'll press scale so that's just a little bit bigger but that should work so then when we go to the next item and we want to change the canvas size go to image and then canvas size and you can see there's a canvas size and it's kind of handy we can do everything right in here now this is where we're going to make the change and we're actually going to unlock this 
and make that exactly 150 by 200. Press the tab. And we can move this around in the box there. So you can see that just that itself will make it pretty good. And now we just click resize and that's looking a lot better. And now what we want to do is control A to select all. You can see the little dashed lines moving around after we do select all. Go back to image and this time we want to crop to selection. Now it's nice and tidy. Now if you want you can just save the image here by going to file save as, but let's uh, add the border too. So we're going to go open as layers and here is the burgundy obituary portrait 150 wide and the little checkerboard there is the transparency and we just go open and that actually lays the border right over top of the photograph. And we can actually look at the layers here, just in case maybe um, the other image was put below. Just so you can see now, um, the entire picture is covering the border. So if that happens, you just go here and highlight the layer and then move it up. And you can see now we've got the nice border around there. And now we'll save it. Save as. And we'll call this one Obit. And we go save. And we can actually ignore this because we don't really care about the transparency for this. So just go ignore. And then press save as JPEG. And that's it. Now that image is ready to upload into the obituary notice. So again, just to recap, we open the photo of the deceased in the GIMP image editor. We scaled the image to at least 150 by 200 and in our example we actually went a little bit bigger because the picture wasn't perfectly centered. Uh, then we resize the canvas to exactly 150 by 200. We select the entire image by using select all, control A, and then we crop to the selection. And then we got a little fancy and we added the border and we just add as layers. And then we move the border up if necessary, but the border was actually ended up on the top, so that's good. And then we saved it as a, as a JPEG. And uh, that's how easy it is to use uh, GIMP, the image editor. So for more information about funeral home websites and our training videos, please visit funeralfuturistwebsites.com. And if you have a question, please don't hesitate to e email it to me at questions at funeralfuturist.com. This is Robin Heppel for Funeral Futurist Websites.